When anyone does anything, they think it'd be a reason. But you know, you're doing this show, and at some point they're gonna say that you're like, I don't know, you know, talking to another stranger, you know, it's like they do something on you, and it's, um, we've sold a lot of records, which I'm very grateful for, and it's very sweet, and you know, it's really nice, and we do what we do. We're not, I mean, the Beatles are one thing, like the Rolling Stones were another, we have to be on. Really. Oh, all right, so we all know what the Beatles were, and we all, well, some of us know what they were. They, yeah, they turn it into, they want to pigeonhole you into something that, that is not necessarily Number three. Serious. Um, I'm sort of a cross between a lot of people, um, media-wise, being that um, the first person that really turned me on to... to Bob Dylan. Um, can, can I whisper around? Um, around? As long as you don't knock the mic, it okay. is anyway. Um, but really, with, with when I decided what I was going to do with Bob Dylan, because I realised that I started as a poet, I used to write when I was about nine, um, and I realised that if, if I use what, what really moved me as a human being, which is rock and roll, um, not pop music, because that is too wide mm -hmm. to get rock and roll, um, and I put the words that I